and he could die. And then the tornado had passed. And I found out that Annie had gone through with her plan. And why didn't you tell Ryan or the police? I didn't know everything that Annie had planned. Where Emma was or who else was involved. I just, I, I thought that, that I could find Emma and that I could bring her back safe. If I could just play along with, with Annie. If I could just make Annie believe that I was doing this to get you away from Ryan. When were you going to say something? When I knew that Emma was safe. I screwed up. <laughs> My feelings get in the way. I understand. What? Why you don't believe me. But I do. I do believe you. And Annie's not going to get away with this. But before you help put her away, you have no, to give them permission. I've, I've told to you everything up. that you need to know. And just, just, just go away. Okay. You'll have to find that out yourself. I can't get through to him. Maybe you can. Please try. Why? Why is he refusing? Why? And why can't you get through to him? Believe me, Jake, I'm the last person he needs right now. Now they bring in the big guns. Yeah. Just a good friend, I promise. Besides, what are you bitching about? I'm unarmed. Well, I'm glad. Well, some what we got there first. Yeah. So I hear. <sighs> Hurts, doesn't it? So, why are you standing in the way of everybody around here letting them do their jobs? This, this operation is risky. I don't like the odds. Really? <laughs> well, when have you ever given a damn about the odds? Huh? Odds are worse if you don't get that operation. Come on. You're a soldier, you know, as well as I do. Eventually, that bullet's going to shift. Tears anything open around the neighborhood of your heart, things are going to get messy real quick. Well, you can have my stuff. I'm gone. Really? Oh, sweet. Oh, I feel so much better. You know, I walked in here. I was bummed because, you know, you might cack and... What's the deal, fish and chips? Why are you standing in the way of this operation? I screwed up. <sighs> no, you didn't, mate. Emma's alive. And Di is dead. And Greenie would have been too if I hadn't dived in the way of that bullet. That's the last thing I wanted to have happen. Aiden getting hurt. But I didn't shoot him. Di did. She was aiming for you. All I was thinking about was you and Emma. Think back with me. Think back to our wedding day. We were so, so happy. And I know, I know I've made some mistakes. But loving you wasn't one of them. I mean, was that really so wrong of me to fall in love with you? No, Annie. So then why can't you just admit how you feel about me? I know, I know you love me, Ryan. Otherwise, you would have gone to the police the second that you thought that I was involved in this kidnapping, but you didn't. That had to be for a reason. There was a reason, Annie. I wanted to make sure that Emma was all right. I think you also wanted to make sure that I was all right. Don't deny it, Ryan. I saw it in your eyes. In that island that morning, I felt it in your kiss.
tell me you still love me. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, it's okay. I, just, I understand. I, it's just, it's the... I get it. Yeah. 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 I think once... Those, uh, those buttons are just pushed really easily. Once it's, it's happened to you, the emotions just kind of hover right below the surface, waiting to jump out when you least expect it. My mother went through it, too. And much as I hate to admit it, she could have blown what happened to Amanda out of proportions. Okay, still, he could have been more sensitive about it. They are sensitive. That's just not who he is. Did he really... Did he push you off a balcony? Yes, he, he he did, but I'm I'm still not sure if he intended to push me as hard as he did. So what if... Did I scare you? Look, I've just... I've never seen you like that. That's all. I mean, not, not to that degree. Um, like I said, button push. Look, I don't mean to be insensitive, sweetie, because I know, I know what you dealt with after going through the rape, but are you sure that's the button that's being pushed? What do you mean? You remember that time outside Latopia when that guy was shoving that girl, he was harassing her, you went off on him, but you were calm, you were cool. I don't know, I'm just getting the feeling that it's something else. Yeah, you're right. Please. I really need to talk to you. Not now. No, that's okay. Stay. If anyone can help Ryan understand what I did, it's you. What are you talking about? It's okay. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. It's true. I kidnapped my own child. So... You put Ryan through hell. You're responsible for Di Henry's death and maybe Aiden's. Now, 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 Greenlee. Let's not talk about me. I want to talk about you. Because you know exactly how I feel. Because you've done the exact same thing. I kidnapped Emma. You kidnapped Spike. <laughs> I'm not you. Really? Really? Because everything you've done lately has been because you're in love with Ryan. All the lies you've told him. All the lies you told Aiden. So are we really that different? Greenlee has nothing to do with this, okay? Oh, but doesn't she, though, Ryan? Look at her. Look at her. There's guilt all over her face. She knows she's responsible. From the day she sent the police to our freaking wedding, she's had blood all over her hands. Isn't that right, Greenlee? Guilty, guilty, guilty. <laughs> if they give you some chalk, maybe you can write that on the walls of your cell. Shut oh, up! Okay, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Mommy, what's wrong? 